Hi and welcome to Themeco. In this lesson, we will continue solving the kinematic analysis of a crankshaft mechanism and we will also derive all components needed. In the last lesson, we formulated the constraint equations of such system, geometrics, and motion constraints. Finally, we collected these constraints into the vector of constraints C. We know that we have to calculate the Jacobian matrix as the next step which involves differentiating the vector of constraints with respect to the generalized coordinate vector. So we better be prepared for that. We said that g of t came from a non-specified function f of t, representing how the rotation velocity of the crank behaves. At this point, let's say the crank rotates at a constant velocity. If this is the case, then the velocity of the crank will be represented as theta a dot equals c, which leads to having in terms of generalized coordinates, theta a minus theta a initial equals integration from 0 to t of c times dt equals c times integration from 0 to t of dt, which equals c times t. Coming back to our vector of constraints, it will take the following form. Now would be the time to form our Jacobian matrix of the constraints, cq. The Jacobian matrix of the constraints is a 9 by 9 matrix. It looks like this. Now, with the Jacobian matrix of the constraints, we can have the Newton's difference vector. Delta Q equals minus CQ inverse times C. That is, which we can use in our iterative procedure to find our vector of generalized coordinates that satisfy the current position of our mechanism. Let's now see the components of our velocity analysis. The velocities of the generalized coordinates are calculated according to the following equation. Q dot equals CQ inverse times minus CT. We notice that we are only missing vector CT, which is the vector of constraints differentiated with respect to time. In this case, this vector can be written as follows. Then, the generalized velocities are Now for the case of the acceleration analysis, we have Q double dot equals CQ inverse times minus CTT minus CQ times Q dot Q times Q dot minus 2 times cqt times q dot. Notice that we have a few terms missing which we need to derive, but let's continue from this in the next video. We have now solved both position and velocity analysis while acceleration analysis is still left to do. In the next video, we will also cover this part. Thanks for watching and see you soon.